Hi, welcome to Cabbage Meeples. My name is Anuja and today I'm going to talk about Avalon. So in case you're wondering what Cabbage Meeple is, it's a review of fantastic board games that we think would throw your mind off. So today we're going to talk about Avalon. It's an interesting game that you can play with your friends uh, that tells you about deduction, deception and secret identities. Now what this game is all about, it's an exciting game to tell you who your real friends are and how well they can cheat you when they want to. So let me explain to you, inside the box you would find all these things that I've displayed out here in my really nice red table. Okay, and as you can see, this game you could play from 5 to 10 people, right? So um, beautiful card game, beautiful uh, boards that's been created for this game. You have a success, fail card, reject, approve, and all these things that's here. But let me explain to you how this game works. And with me today, I have Joe, Hi. who is very curious about how this game works. And I will be showing him and explaining to him how this game works. And uh, for those of you who are there who are interested, uh, this is where you can watch as well. This game is for five players. And since it's just you and me and three of our invisible friends, we will go with the five-player board game. All right. Thank you. So how it starts is very simple. Okay. For five players, uh, as you can see, you have your uh, good guys and bad guys cards. Right. These are the minions of Modred, and these are the good guys. All right. So for five players, you will have two uh, evil and three good guys. All right. And then one of the good guys is called Merlin okay as you can see here now what you need to do before the game starts you will shuffle these cards right you really shuffle it so no one knows what uh, the others are going to receive but I'll put this aside first just to show you some of the things that we have here we have a 10 cent coin because one of my token is missing so we will replace that with a 10 cent coin which I'll explain to you what it is but we have yeah this little token with a crown uh, this shows that you are the leader for that cycle and this crown will be passed over clockwise right and then you have the reject and approve token and this is to reject and approve certain missions not certain missions all the missions uh, and then you have a success and fail card as well so how does it work now first things first you shuffle these cards and each of you would get one J B and C right now <coughs> And then all of us will take a look on what our characters are, okay? And once everyone knows what their characters are, the leader will say, everyone close your eyes and put your fist to the middle, okay? And mm, the leader will say, minions of Mordred, uh, open your eyes. At this moment, only the evil will open their eyes to see who their other counterparts are. All right, and then the leader will say, Minions of Modred, close your eyes. Okay, Minions of Modred, put your thumb up. So the Minions of Modred will put their thumbs up. And then the leader will say, Merlin, open your eyes. So now the Merlin will know who are the Minions of Modred. And then the leader will say, uh, Merlin, close your eyes. Minions of Modred, put your thumb down. Everybody, open your eyes. So everybody opens their eyes. So now currently the evil knows who the other evils are. Minion of Mod Minion will know the minion will uh, Merlin, sorry, the Merlin will know who the evils are, but the evil does not know who Merlin is. Now the role of a Merlin is very interesting. Merlin knows who the minions are moderates, okay? But right, he cannot portray himself as the Merlin. Because as the mission goes, right, the ultimate aim is for the for the evil to win three out of five or the good guys to win three out of five right so assuming as we go later on we we, we get three out of five and the good wins the game however if the evil right at the end of the game were able to identify who the merlin is automatically the evil wins okay. right so the merlin <coughs> needs to show needs to be able to block the evil from pursuing the mission however he cannot even uh, he also should not be able to allow the evil to identify mm. who he is so it's a very tricky one okay so how the game works right so the crown is with me 
okay and in in this board game you can see that the quest says two that means i can take two people with me so i will say all right i do not have to pick myself to go into the mission even if i am the leader i can pick any one of them so for this purpose i'll say okay for this mission I want to go this mission with Joe, okay, all right, and then we will vote. If everybody agrees, if two of us should go for this mission. Now, the reason why people would disapprove is because maybe this person thinks that Joe is is uh, the minion of moderate, or I am the uh, minion of moderate, right? So at the end, we will say, okay, it's me and Joe. Let's vote. Now, everybody will pick between approve and reject, and we'll put it in the middle. Right, and everybody will then open it and we will vote to see who has more. The more the provers, we will be able to go to the mission. If there's more reject, you can't go to the mission, right? Now, when you have right uh, more rejects than approve, okay, you will move this vote tracker. That means you are unable to go to the mission, right? You will move the tracker from one to two, all right? And if you actually get to five. Right, now five times that there was more rejects than approved, automatically the uh, minions of Madrid will win the game. Okay, so this is, but it hardly happens, right? Now, so once we are approved to go to the mission, okay, you and me, we have the success and fail card. All right, we'll take a look at our success and fail. All right, we will take one card and we will put it in the middle. Okay. And whoever and the leader will then shuffle, shuffle it really well to not to be able to identify, right? So the first card says success, the second card says success, right? Wow! So if both cards are success, right? Two out of two, that means this quest was a success. Okay. All right. And then you take back all your cards, right? So make sure that it's all shuffled again properly, right? And then you return it back. Okay, success and fail. How, however, hypothetically, if we, I had the two cards and one was success and one was a fail, then this would have been a failed quest, right? So, as you can see, the numbers here three, two, three, two, uh, and three. So, the next mission, <coughs> the throne will go to the person to my left, and now he will nominate three people to go for the next mission. And then here is where you start to lie and cheat and say, I am not the minion. I, I don't know why I keep saying minion. I mean moderate, okay? I'm not the moderate and, you know, and here's where you truly be able to see who your true friends are. Mm -hmm. Joe, you have any questions you want to ask me how to play this game? Um, I believe there's um, different characters with different different abilities. Maybe right. we can talk a little bit about Alright, so actually what uh, separates resistance to Avalon is the fact that in this box, right, you will also be able to see other characters, right? But these are the characters are uh, some of the characters um, we will not be playing because for five players uh, I would not suggest but once you have more than five characters yeah it would be great okay uh, Oberon is one of it Oberon is an evil but unknown to the other evil players so when everybody opens his eyes he won't open his eyes mm. but actually he's the evil person as well mm. so he is supposed to help you uh, not go through the mission but he can't say anything because uh, he's, as well, he's evil as well 
Modric is the only uh, bad guy as well that Merlin does not know. Okay, but he knows who Merlin is, right? Uh, <coughs> you also have uh, other uh, characters like uh, Percival. Uh, Percival is also known. He's known by Merlin. Okay, that he is a good guy. Right, so these are some extra characters to make the to, to make the game um, more fun. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also read what these characters do in in, in the manual. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for five people, uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, playing playing those characters yet mm -hmm. because uh, it's already pretty tense with just this. Yep. Okay. Um, how how often can you play and not get bored? I mean. Oh, every every game is interesting on its own. Uh, actually, to be quite honest, the more people you have, the better it is because it's really hard to identify who is the evil and who is not. Mm -hmm. Okay, but even with five people, it's extremely extremely fun. Okay, uh, it may not be for everybody uh, because some people don't like li do not like to be lied to, and you know. But let me tell you, this is a game where you really need to know how to put a poker face, right? Yeah. So for those of you who are, who just got together, just got got you know uh, coupled up, I wouldn't suggest playing this game. <laughs> right? Anything else? Then uh, I think that's it from me. Does it sound interesting to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, for those of you who like to try this out, go out there. It's pretty reasonable. This game is about. 30, 40 ringgit, right? On Lazada, it's 36 ringgit, 90 cents. Pretty reasonable, pretty cheap, extremely fun. And if you want to know more, you can always uh, put down some comments on the video below. We will be happy to answer your questions. If you like this video, please uh, put a like button and don't forget to subscribe to Cabbage Meeples. Me me cabbage Meeples. Meeples. All right. See you. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> What the?